One of the world's biggest exchanges, Robinhood, is launching a non-custodial wallet that will compete with the likes of Metamask, Trust Wallet, Phantom, and so on. Robinhood is the newest EVM compatible wallet and we could potentially have a bonus airdrop on our hands just by completing the official Robinhood wallet quest that is currently live on layer 3. They have two airdrops that are confirmed with more coming and we can all participate. Although this video will focus on setting up and using the Robinhood wallet, we will simultaneously qualify for the Robinhood airdrop. In this video we will show you step by step, but remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion based on my own research, do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose, use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Old Crypto Gen for daily crypto content, and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into the video. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, we're officially on the Robinhood website, which is robinhood.com. This is the official website of the exchange, and we've got a different website for the wallet, which I'll leave linked in the description below. It's literally just robinhood.com forward slash web3 dash wallet forward slash. So we've also got the X page, which is at Robinhood app. Give them a follow, turn the notification bells on. And my friends, what we're going to be doing is, like I said, we're going to be using layer three in order to potentially qualify for a Robin Hood airdrop. How do we get to this? Well, if you go to the search bar and if you simply type in Robin Hood, you will see that there are two quests here. One is the introduction to the Robin Hood wallet and two is the ability to discover NFTs with the Robin Hood wallet. Therefore, my friends, you can see that there are live quests on Robin Hood through the Robin Hood wallet of which we could potentially qualify for an airdrop. We are seeing many tokens spawn from wallets. So we're going to have Phantom doing an airdrop. We recently had the Hashpack wallet, which is from Hedera. We've got the Opto wallet airdrop coming up. We're pretty sure the Metamask airdrop is coming up soon. And who knows, we could see Kepler, Petra, so many different wallets launching tokens. But enough of that, guys. This is the introduction to the Robin Hood wallet you could potentially qualify for completing these quests. I will leave this quest linked in the description below so you don't need to look for it. And then you'll be able to complete further Robin Hood quests that launch on layer three. And guys, believe me, there's only roughly around 2,200 participants that are involved right now. Although there are definitely more than 2,200 users on the Robin Hood wallet already, if there is going to be a Robin Hood airdrop, we are going to maximize the potential just by completing these quests. So it's completely optional if you want to use this, guys. You can simply just use the tutorial on how to set up the Robin Hood wallet, which is the primary focus of this video, as most users are coming on here to learn how to set up a Robin Hood wallet instead of a MetaMask Phantom and so on. However, as you can see, the Robin Hood wallet app is a self custody wallet that your portal to Web3, where you can store and manage your crypto on the Ethereum, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Arbitrum, Polygon, Optimism, and Base networks all of which are very popular and we love to use. You can use Robinhood Wallet to swap tokens through DEXs on Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Base. Robinhood Wallet supports cross-chain swaps and gasless swaps on these networks too. Robinhood Wallet does not charge additional fees to swap. Now they've got my attention, <laughs> okay. With Robinhood Wallet, you hold the private keys to your assets, which means you have full control of your crypto. And of course, from their centralized exchange, those who are using their exchange to buy commodities, Forex, whatever it may be, cryptocurrencies, obviously you do not own those assets. If an exchange goes bankrupt, guys, or if they do a run, they are entitled to every single penny of your assets. Therefore, non-custodial wallets are the future, not your keys, not your wallet, not your assets. So you should all know that by now. If you don't, then you're going to need to learn about crypto from the get-go. However, continue. Use Robinhood Wallet to connect to dApps and explore the world of Web3. On iOS, the app has a dApp browser that makes it easy to discover your next favorite game, social platform, or crypto exchange. Continue. With Robinhood, Connect, and Sardine, you can purchase crypto directly through your debit card, bank account, or Robinhood account. Continue. Add a Robinhood wallet to your Layer 3 account to complete this step. So, we now need to get this wallet. So obviously we haven't got the wallet yet and therefore I'm going to go to this little link underneath the introduction where it says download the Robinhood wallet. Here obviously it's going to give you two options. Either A, use the Apple App Store or B, use the Google Play Store. And guys, although I do have an iOS or Android device, depending on which preference you use, it's completely up to you. I've got myself a Jambo Web 3 phone of which I can either use it on here and on here or I could even use it on both devices because I have the private keys. 
However, and guys, from here, you're going to see my phone. And what we're going to do is we're now going to go into your app store if it's either the Google Play or Apple App Store. And you're simply going to type in Robinhood Wallet. Once you see the wallet, you'll be able to find it there. And it has six reviews at the moment on the Apple App Store. It is very new, just bear that in mind. But it has got a good rating as of yet. You can read through the entire description, see what it looks like before you download it. Obviously, it's completely up to you if you download this, guys, all at your own risk. Now, what we've got to do is we've got to get started. From here, it's going to ask us to create a new wallet or import an existing wallet, which you can do, guys, if you want to import a MetaMask wallet that you have and you want to use it on Robinhood, you can do so. You just need to enter your private keys. However, in this video, we're going to be creating a new wallet. I'm going to be using my Touch ID. I'm not going to create a custom pin for now. And from here, it asks you to then back up your wallet. I would not skip this stage, guys. This is very important. And personally, I would definitely not back it up to the iCloud. The iCloud can be hacked. However, if you back it up manually, what you can do is, guys, you can write down your seed phrase on a piece of paper where it is not hackable and it is only available to you. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing and what I always do. And therefore, I'm going to be clicking back it up manually. So once you click back it up manually, you're going to see the tap to view phrase. Once you tap to view it, you're going to see 12 custom words unique to you and you've got to write them down in order. If you make a spelling mistake, if you put the wrong word down, if you put it in the wrong order and you don't save it properly, you will not be able to access your wallet once again because you are the only person who will ever have access to these 12 words, also known as your seed phrase. Therefore, I'm going to personally write mine down in a second. We're going to skip past this video and you will see. And fantastic. Once you've done that, we're obviously going to click continue. And yes, I'm all set. Please confirm that you've saved your recovery phrase because it is the only way to recover your wallet manually. Like I said, I have double checked it. And if you haven't, then I recommend you do. So then I'm going to click I'm all set. And now we're going to turn on notifications to stay up to date. Our wallet is all ready. Now you have complete control over your crypto and private keys with the supported networks. Let's go. We officially set up our wallet my friends now from here what do we need to do we need to officially get assets in here otherwise we cannot use it it is no good therefore what we're going to do is my friends you can either a start your first deposit by getting started here if you see deposit crypto if you wanted to do any of these assets let's just say ethereum you would choose ethereum and make sure that you choose the correct network this is the wallet address down here, so I'm going to copy this to clipboard. It will be available on Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, or Base, three of which are layer two networks for Ethereum, and obviously the Ethereum mainnet itself. Therefore, guys, you have many options as to where you want to send your assets from. If you're using a centralized exchange, simply copy this wallet address down here or scan this little barcode, and then from your centralized exchange, you will withdraw the assets to this wallet address where it will reach this account. If you do it from another wallet, which is what I'm going to do, so as you can see in my MetaMask wallet up here, I've got $220 give or take on the Arbitrum network, which is what I want to do. I want to bridge it over to the Arbitrum network in order to complete the next step of the Robinhood wallet. Therefore, what I'm going to do is you're going to see assets appear by seeing me send the tokens, which I've now got my wallet address from my phone over to my desktop. Therefore, if I go up to my MetaMask, I now go to the send button. I now paste the wallet address, which is my Robin Hood one. And we can confirm that by looking at the last three digits and the last three characters, which is 695. And I'm going to confirm that. And I'm simply going to send over around $10. It's completely up to you how much you want to put in your Robinhood wallet. It's entirely up to you. This is just simply a tutorial and just showing you how to get started. You can replicate this on any single network. It could be Arbitrum, Ethereum, Optimism, or Base, just like the Robinhood wallet is compatible with. Now, if I click send and I confirm the transaction, we go up into our MetaMask wallet. Very simply, guys, straight away, we received 0.003 ETH on our Robinhood wallet. It was rapid. Now, that is basically a mix of the Arbitrum network and obviously the Robinhood wallet being so fast. If we now scroll up, we can see that we've got $10 and 53 cents in our wallet so from here what do we need to do we want to now finish our layer 3 quest and by doing so if we go to robin hood and we go to connect wallet we go to wallet connect what we have to do is on your phone you will be prompted to go to the search bar where it says search or enter url and then you can see a scan button so if you click scan you have to allow access to do the wallet connect. And there we go, guys. As you can see, it's asking us to connect to layer three on our mobile device just by simply scanning that wallet connect tab. So if we click connect, we go back, we refresh the page and click connect wallet. Here we go. We've got a sign a message now on our phone. Click sign, touch ID for wallet. Voila, your Robinhood wallet is now added on layer three. We click continue. One way to fund your wallet is to send crypto there. To complete this step, send at least 0.001 ETH to your Robinhood wallet, which we did do, and we did around three times more. So if we click verify, 
you will see that we did complete that already before they even asked us to do that you don't even have to follow them guys it is a skippable step but quest completed and voila fantastic now like i said there are going to be more quests over on robin hood wallet on the layer 3 platform of which will help you qualify for airdrops now continuing over with the phone what we're going to do is guys i'm just going to briefly show you how to use the robin hood wallet phone and once we're on here as you can see i've got my ten dollars and 53 cents worth of ethereum on the arbitrum network what we can do is we can either swap which is very simple if you just wanted to choose the arbitrum network we know we have Ethereum on here, then all we have to do is switch into any asset we like. It could be USDC. We can even do cross-chain swaps so we can swap over to base, which is absolutely awesome. Let's just say we did it into Ethereum. As you can see, why don't I get all my base over here? This is essentially a cross-chain swap bridge, you name it. It enables us to send very easily. So I'm gonna leave more ETH for gas fees over on the Arbitrum network. And I'm just going to simply bridge over $10. I'm gonna have roughly 40 cents worth on the Arbitrum network. And now I'm going to have more on base. So I'm going to click swipe up and look how simple it is to swap. You're swapping ETH for ETH from Arbitrum to base. And as simple as that, guys, you'll receive your ETH after it's completed. I'm absolutely loving this app. It's so simple and so easy to use. As you can see, my assets have disappeared until the cross-chain bridge swap has processed, which now it has. We can see that we've got it in the base network. As you can see, we've got a little ARB and base icon. If we click on that, if we scroll down. 53 cents worth of Ethereum on Arbitrum and $9.99 worth of Ethereum on the base network. If you want to swap more tokens, you can do that on the ARB network, on the base network. You can simply swipe and look at all of these different tokens. If you go back, other features that you can do, guys, is obviously you can send your assets. So if you want to get your assets over from Robinhood to another wallet, you click send. Very simply send your assets for the search bar. Over here, guys, you can discover trending cryptocurrencies. So, for example, top gainers, you'll be able to see that Mogcoin is up almost 30%. Top losers, you'll be able to see that Dragon Chain is also down 47%. You'll be able to take a look at top metrics such as volume and market cap. Take a look at trending cryptocurrencies such as Toshi, the newly airdropped token layer 0, Toncoin, Pixel, Maga, Pepe. Guys, this got it all absolutely amazing. And down here, we can even find some quests that we can complete on through the Robinhood app. So, as you can see, this one is hosted by layer three which we've completed over on layer three itself and we are now waiting for the next task so that we can then qualify for the robin hood airdrop if there's going to be one however you can also take a look at so many decentralized applications through the robin hood wallet so you don't have to go scavenging for dodgy links they've got them all here so many decentralized exchanges game fire apps you've got revoke.cash which allows you to increase your safety ether scan base scan layer three guys it's got it all on here there are so many d apps compatible with the robin hood wallet and it is only growing so that is basically how you use the wallet that is basically how you qualify for the airdrop if you enjoyed this video my friends and you're interested in other wallets or other airdrop tutorials then we have a huge airdrop playlist with over 118 videos that you can participate in some of which are free some of which are from different ecosystems take a look guys we've got wallet airdrops we've got the layer 3 airdrop tutorial of its own which of course was the platform that we're using today but friends, we appreciate you all so much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Follow Robin Hood on X. Turn on the notification bells. And guys, we'll see you in the next video. And we currently have a promotion running on Bybit. The best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies. And you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.